Hello friends, this is going to be a very short tech blog. Uh, I have been getting uh, a very simple query from a lot, lot of the SSIS beginners that if they are trying to load data from a flat file uh, to a table on SQL Server, uh, what is the way that they can check uh, that if the file exists and only then uh, load the data. Uh, so what I have here is a very simple SSIS package. What this does is it loads data into the employee table if uh, if you see here the employee table is a uh, is something like this it doesn't have any records as of now uh, and when we run this package what it does is it loads it it truncates the table and then loads the data from a file uh, from a flat file uh, actually so this is the dft task uh, which loads the file from uh, this destination so it loads this data uh, so that's all it, it, it does now if you run this run this package it will uh, first try to truncate uh, the table and then load this uh, load this flat file into the table and that's as simple as that now if you see uh, your data is loaded now if uh, what if I simply uh, delete this flat file in that case a package uh, will fail right so yeah it will fail so uh, what we want uh, to see is how we can check the condition that uh, uh, check the file if it exists and only then just load the file so for that uh, what uh, we will do is we'll declare two variables uh, first the variable containing the, the path where our file exists and then I have a, a boolean variable uh, kind of a flag uh, which will flag the variable I mean flag the condition that, that the file exists or not exists so by default I've kept it to true uh, the next thing that I do is let's bring out a script task and uh, right now let's try to uh, We'll be reading the path where our file egg, file path, and we will be writing the boolean variable if it doesn't exist for us. We'll be writing it to false. Now let's try to edit the code. This is going to be a C sharp, a C -sharp code that we'll uh, we'll write just to check if the file exists for us. so it opens up uh, a new window first we'll add the IO and now in the main let's add the code so what we do is, is we declare string type variable called file path next we assign a value that is from the variable Next, what we do is we override this variable to So that's all we do. First, we declare a variable uh, of a string type, and then we assign. Uh, then we uh, assign the string type uh, 
variable a value from this uh, file path and next we just uh, as, uh, assign the value I mean check the value of the file path to see if the file exists or not so that's all we do let's save it build it and close it right now let's add a precedence constraint of an expression and say so only if this condition holds good we will load the file so now first let's check uh, we do not have deleted the file uh, okay let's uh, let's just get this file and place it here to see if the file exists and now let's run this package so it has loaded the file to the table next let's just delete this file from this path right so it is it doesn't proceed uh, with uh, once the check is over since the condition precedence constraint condition doesn't match or hold good for uh, this package so it doesn't proceed with processing a file and stops uh, there I mean you can add a condition of sending an email with an or uh, logical operator you can add a conditions uh, saying you can uh, let me just show you for a quick overview what you would do is let's put a mail operator here and then let's put uh, edit this condition and put it to or okay and next what we do is add edit this operator and say and put it to R right so in this case what will happen is your flow when the file doesn't exist will uh, will go to this and, and trigger the send mail task so that's it guys i have uh, this query was was due for a long time and uh, i hope i have been able to clarify this query thanks so much